And then if we move further on, the next generation was introduced with the introduction of disc brakes. Right, and what do you think about disc brakes? <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Swiss rider living in a, in a country where uh, yeah, you can count the rainy days. Yeah. So I'm happy to have it also because especially here in the area we have very steep uh, downhills. Sometimes mm. uh, you go down for 10 minutes at 20% uh, slope which uh, was always a challenge with especially carbon rims. Yep. Um, yeah, I would say, and, and that's something I, I do quite often, I actually have quite a collection of old race bikes and I, I take them back. And just this summer I was taking a bike from 2011, a team machine with rim brakes on a dry day. And I had to say, this was a fantastic ride. Yes. So. What about from an engineering perspective? The, I think the biggest thing that somehow changed is uh, forks for disc brakes have to be uh, stiffer mm. um, because the, the load introduction is, is further down on the, on the, on the fork and uh, I think overall disc brakes bikes might ride a bit rougher than what we were used with, uh, with rim brakes but on the other hand today the wheels and the tires they, they bring back some of this comfort okay. so I think it's hard to compare but um, yeah if there is one fundamental thing is that uh, disc brakes brought additional and very high loads to the fork yes yeah. okay thank you Sorry to put you on the spot like that. <laughs> that's no problem. That's, uh, I think that's also why you are here. Right? Yeah. Um, so disc brakes on this generation, then also integration of the cables. That was, we started this 